6,500 Tesla vehicles on a ship from China have been sent back to China. Now, customers were waiting for these new Tesla Model 3 Highland vehicles, and I believe the updated version of the Tesla Model Y, not the Juniper version, the updated you know, 0.5 version of the Tesla Model Y, all of these vehicles have been sent back to China from the country they were intended for. I think it's a little bit controversial reason. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Uh, analyst predictions have been for Tesla to deliver between 480,000 and 510,000 vehicles for the fourth quarter of this year. Meaning that yes, the Tesla Model Y is the best selling car in the world this year. Yes, Tesla have hit their goal of 1.8 million deliveries. Well, this will definitely affect Tesla because customers were due to pick up these vehicles from Tesla. Basically, immediately after the ship landed, the ship landed, it was sent back from Australia to China. Now, the reason that these 6,500 Tesla vehicles have can't be delivered to customers have been sent all the way back to China. It's a long way to go, right? The boat comes all the way from China to Australia, docks there, uh, customs officials get on the boat and they see stink bugs on the boat. So they basically said a few days of processing, no, 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 you have to go back all the way to China, fix your problems, get rid of the stink bugs, do whatever you have to do in China, we're not gonna do it here, and then send the ship all the way back to Australia. It's a pretty big delay. It's gonna mean probably a couple of months of delay does take a long time for these ships to get from China to Australia. It's not a short journey, of course. These ships are very, very slow. So what this means is it'll probably be about a two month delay for customers who are set to get the new Tesla Model 3 Highland and potentially, I believe, also the new updated version of the Tesla Model Y. Now, in China, Tesla no longer build the old version of the Model Y. There's a new version, an updated version. It's got a, a nicer interior. It's got internal LED lights. It's got that new dashboard, it's got different wheels, it's got a bit more range, and it's got way more power. You're looking at about 90 horsepower more power, about 70 kilowatt more power for the new version of the Tesla Model Y standard range. The Tesla Model Y standard range, of course, is the one that everyone buys. It's the cheapest one. It only costs 65,000 Australian dollars. It's around, that's around about 40,000 US dollars. It's very, very affordable. So this ship um, means, because it's been canceled, I think a lot of Tesla customers who had hoped that they would get their cars for the new year, for Christmas possibly, are going to be disappointed. Australian customers with Tesla vehicles aboard the Glovis Caravelle have been advised the vessel has been denied entry into the country and must return to Shanghai for further processing prior to re-entering an Australian port. It refers to the cleaning of the ship to eliminate yellow spotted stink bugs and other live insects and other, apparently there wasn't just stink bugs, there was other insects on the, the boat as well. These were deemed by government officials to pose a significant threat to Australian agriculture and wildlife. The Glovis Caravel had apparently 6,500 Tesla vehicles on board. We don't know if they were all Tesla vehicles, but it's pretty likely they were. Media reports claim the Glovis Caravelle was initially granted entry controversially into Australia. And some of its vehicles were actually unloaded. Those vehicles were checked for um, insects and pests. Uh, they were sent to showrooms and delivered to customs before this biosecurity hazard was discovered. So some of the vehicles were actually already delivered to customers, which is kind of weird um, because some of them obviously weren't. However, Online ship trackers show the vessel is now going back to Shanghai, to China. This comes months after Australian ports were caught in a quarantine crisis, which created a traffic jam of ships anchored offshore or in transit between docks as cleaning teams raced to check and treat incoming cars for biosecurity hazards. So usually what happens is if a car comes into a if a, a ship comes into a country and it has some sort of uh, biosecurity hazard, you know, maybe there's insects, there's spiders or bugs of some kind. Generally, those ships will be cleaned offshore. So the ship will go go out maybe a few hundred meters offshore. Uh, essentially, these quarantine businesses will come in and they'll clean the ships. At a, they'll charge a cost to the shipping company or to Tesla or to whoever else. Then the ships will be able to go back into the port and customers can get their cars. But for some reason, Australia now has changed their rules. 
I don't know if this is just for Tesla or not. <laughs> Who knows? And now they're being a lot more anal retentive. They're saying, no, 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 go back to China. Get out of here. We don't even want you here. Uh, but what is controversial here, guys, is the fact that, like I said, some of the cars were able to actually come off the ship. They went to customers and then all of a sudden they stopped doing that. They stopped letting them off for some reason. Company, the ship was forced back to Shanghai. Now, at one point, there was more than two dozen. So there was about 25, 26 different cargo ships with full of cars uh, waiting to deliver around 60,000 or more vehicles on the docks waiting to unload. But this were, the reason these were being held up, a lot of these were Ford vehicles, uh, various vehicles from China, uh, various vehicles from Southeast Asia. They were being held up because of new quarantine rules here in Australia, which are, are quite strict, quite prohibitive. We're effectively investigating all available options to get your vehicle to you as soon as possible, told said Tesla to customers in a notice shared by multiple Tesla Model Y SUV buyers on social media. This may include reassigning your order to a vehicle from the next batch of production. Further details will be provided in the coming weeks. So you can see here, it's quicker for Tesla to make a new Tesla Model Y, put it on a new boat, ship it to Australia, than have these vehicles go from this port in Australia all the way back from probably, I believe, Melbourne or Sydney, all the way back to China, clean out the ship and then send it all back to Australia. Tesla was saying, you know what, just, just get a new car. We'll put the new models on the ship. And this may be good for customers. In fact, this may be brilliant because if you are going to get a new model, the previous model, it, it's possible it could have been the old version of the Tesla Model Y. But if this is true, that these orders, are these, basically the customers will now receive the, the new shipment from Tesla or new production model, you will get the new Model Y version in China, which is, it is significantly better than the current, the old version of the Model Y. So this actually is a, a bit of a blessing in disguise for Tesla customers. But it's not so good for Tesla's orders. It will make Tesla's delivery numbers a little bit smaller by a few thousand than what they otherwise would have been for 2023. Thanks for watching.